I thought I would do an update on the 75 soft challenge because I feel like, I don't know, from like the outside perspective of like watching the vlogs, it probably looks like I was doing pretty well and I got quite far, which is true. I think I got like to day 60 maybe, but that's the issue. I don't know what day I was on because I just didn't track it properly. Kind of going through the motions of like, yeah, and I'm gonna try and eat vegetables every day and like try and drink three liters of water every day, but like I wasn't, tracking it. I never wrote it down or like ticked it off and said yep I've had one litre, now I've had my second litre. I was just kind of like yeah I'll try it. I think because it's like 75 soft I was kind of like I don't know I feel like I wasn't so committed to the cause because it's just kind of like easier challenge and it's not supposed to be really hard even though like it's kind of hard and there are definitely days when I was supposed to work out and I didn't and I just was like oh it's okay I'll do it tomorrow or like I did how many steps so it's fine but if the steps are like my day-to-day -day steps that I'm just doing because I'm going to work. I, it doesn't really count as a workout to be honest because it's not anything extra. It makes sense if I had gone to work and then I walk the long way home so I end up doing like extra 40 minutes walking or something like that which actually I did do a couple times but most of the time I would skip the gym in the morning and be like I'll do some yoga when I get home and then I never do the yoga. So yeah I kind of gave up. When did I give up? when I have my last period because I can't work out it makes me so exhausted and I just feel like it's not a good time for me so I just don't like going to the gym especially before work because then I have to shower and I'm like I don't want to do all of that anywhere but in my house so that's something I need to work on I think if I want to work out during that time I don't have to but the thing with the challenge is that like you're supposed to but even on those days I kind of would like abandon the healthy diet and everything I just I don't know I had good intentions I feel like I always have such good intentions I'm like yeah I'm gonna do this thing I'm gonna be really good at it and then when it comes down to it especially these challenges they're just so long 75 days is what two and a half months it's a long time I failed I guess I don't feel like I failed I feel almost like I never even really started <laughs> in a way like I was doing this stuff I feel like I'm being dramatic when I say that because I was doing it and I did do things. I just didn't track it very closely. It is all a learning curve. And I think one of the reasons I feel like I've kind of failed is because personally, I don't see a difference. So like, I don't know. I just feel like I've been half trying to do the stuff. I think I could have tried harder. And I don't think doing the 75 hard instead of the 75 soft would have made any difference. I think challenges are really good to focus like if you want to be focused on something you want to tick things off and you're like yes today this 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 perfect why was i not doing that i don't know i think that's hindsight but i don't think i wasted the time because i was working out and i was trying to eat as good as possible but there were things i could have done better could have definitely tried harder and done more so i don't know I don't know, I don't know how I feel. Like since I stopped trying to do the challenge, to be honest, I feel so like tired and I don't know, the challenge was making me feel better. And now I feel like I'm tired and I am not eating good. And I just wanna kind of break that. So I'm going on holiday in like nine days. <laughs> and I was thinking like, oh, what's the point? Like I'm gonna go on holiday soon. But actually, no, there is a point because literally, like, why am I not living my best life? Like, what is the reason? Why am I not eating in a way that makes me feel good? Why am I not exercising when I know it makes me feel good? I know that if I consistently drank water, like, it doesn't have to be three liters, but like, you know, more than two liters, I would say, I would probably feel pretty good. And I just don't know why I kind of just abandoned the challenge. I don't even think it was a conscious decision to stop. I just stopped and then... I was like, I can't be bothered to make lunch today. It all kind of spirals from a place of like, I can't be bothered. I think I need to just start doing things. I can't be bothered to do it, why? Because I want to sit on my phone for like five more minutes on TikTok instead of standing up and putting something in the air fryer. I feel like the core values of the challenge are good and I kind of want to take them forward just in everyday life but maybe I should just start you know noting it down and taking it off but then I feel like I don't want to do the 75 challenge forever 
kind of goal of the challenge is to get you into the habit of doing these things. One reason I'm kind of disappointed is because I didn't build that habit. Like I, it's not ingrained in me yet. But I think when I come back from Canada, I definitely want to do a challenge. But I need it to be a challenge that kind of incorporates like the fact that I don't like to work out when I'm on my period. And I feel like that's a major thing. Are these workout challenges designed for men? Possibly. I don't feel the same way every single day. I can't wake up every single day and work out. I can't do two workouts in a day. The 75 hard seems so, so unrealistic. And I know people have done it and people do it. I just think for me, it's that's not gonna work. So that one's kind of ruled out. I don't know, I'm gonna have a look. If you have any recommendations or you've seen any like of these fitness workout weight loss kind of challenges that are more geared towards women, and like, I don't know, I feel like in a way they're all geared towards women because I feel like the whole weight loss industry is kind of like towards women, obviously men as well, but I don't know, I don't have a male perspective, so I can't really speak on that, to be honest. So I don't know, but I just feel like I need one that's kind of like incorporates the fact that you have different amounts of energy at different points of the month and like all of that stuff. And if there isn't one, then I'm maybe I'll have to make one up. It's easier if there's one already because <laughs> I, don't 100% know what I'm doing. But I will let you know because maybe if I do do a new challenge, if I kind of make one up, then I definitely want to try and like get more people involved. I think it's easier when you've got like a kind of community feel around the fact that I did it on my own, even though I was trying to vlog it and I was trying to document it, it wasn't enough. It, I just needed something more to keep me going, keep me motivated on the days when I don't want to do it. I am <laughs> way too, easily influenced by myself into bad decisions. Like I can convince myself not to do something very easily. I think at some point in the challenge, like I did feel the social pressure of like, I'm vlogging it and, and people are gonna be like, we've been watching you doing this thing and you're like, you're not getting any results. When you're filming things, it's easy to not film things, if you know what I mean. I, and I'm bad at filming like every single meal that I eat. But if I'm eating like whole Domino's pizza, I don't have to share it. If you know what I mean, like I don't have to show everything. I'm disappointed that I haven't really. I have lost some weight, like generally from like a year ago to now. I definitely have lost like a few kilos, but not really a lot. And I, the thing for me, and one of the big things when I was like, a reason I wanna lose weight is because when it's summer and it's hot and I have to wear shorts or a skirt and my legs are like, <laughs> my legs just rub together so much and it's painful and I'm hot and I'm sweating and I'm just not enjoying myself. And I was thinking, you know, by summer, hopefully that won't be an issue anymore. It's summer, it's coming like next month and I'm gonna have the exact same issue as I had before. I'm gonna try my best this week. I'm gonna do some like holiday vlogs, which should be fun, like when I'm in Canada. And then I hate to do it. To be honest, I hate to do it because I feel like I've, I see so many people doing it, but I'm gonna be doing like, you know, back on track, reset, get my life together series. The thing that annoys me, like I saw someone else say it, the people who make the getting back on track videos are the people who always fall off the track. <laughs> so, you know, will I ever be on it properly? I hope so, but you never know. I might just be doing back on track videos forever but at least I'm trying right attempt to live my best life eventually something will stick I just think like I need to just drink more water and I need to eat more vegetables and I need to move more and it's like the simple things that people say you should do to lose weight and live your best life and they're so hard I don't know I have a lot to think about a lot to do but like I said let me know if you have any recommended challenges I'm gonna stop rambling now I've been talking for 18 minutes and it's just too much I need to go make some pancakes and do other things, live my life, instead of worrying about the fact that I haven't been living my life <laughs> as best as I can. Thanks for listening.